Dzień dobry, dzień dobry, everybody. Welcome back, привет, bonjour, and this time even howdy, comrades, towarzysze, and genossen, genossen, and welcome back to <laughs> Call of War S, and we're right here, right now, shooting our asses off because, well, we're under fucking, well, we're in a siege. So, let's get moving because... Oh yeah, and I'm a Red Pulse Corp, by the way. And let's get moving because I don't think uh, our friend Billy the Kid over there isn't getting any younger. Haha. Uh -huh. Thank goodness we have a, now a fucking rush because... I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. I don't know what Garrett is I like that myself. No. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Charlie's Get to down. the other side. In a second, Billy, in a second. Still got some peeps here. Got you in my sights, to... Ah, blank. A runner. Let's get it checking. Hands about nuggets on most important hands. Rival ammo capacity increased. Carry even more of those deadly rifle rounds. But we're going to need this stuff, to be honest. Anybody else out there? Give me some new ammo. Okay, there's no one here. What the fuck? Fuck, darling. At the rear, after we defended some asses, yeah, of course. Got you all. Well, just a lot. Come on, Charlie, Boulder. Should have died yesterday, to be honest. Come on, more of you? I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear. Even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. What is a Gatling there? Seriously. Where in the name of hell do you see a Gatling? Really worth some fucking Gatling. I said that it was time to cut and run. Somewhere there. Right, see ya. sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? 
Jack is just joshing with you. Yeah, you better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Of course. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the bar. Oh, yeah, she's a real man. I like Silas's... Um, gloves, to be honest. Really nice. You slap a son bitch with that. Press F to melee. Okay. And shake. Right. Nice. From a fallen foe. Death from a ball. Nice. Let's get us some new ammo. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. Oh yeah, I like some chicken. So, um... Oh well, look at that. A secret, let's check it out. Pat Garrett, Patrick Floyd Pat Garrett was born on June 5th, 1815 Cassetta. Alabama and grew up on a prosperous Louisiana plantation located just below the Arkansas state line. He died on January January 29, shot in uncertain circumstances on the road from Las Cruz and am by one Jesse Wayne Brazel. Pat was a cowboy and buffalo hunter, bartender and a customs agent, but history, but history rem remembers him as a sheriff who killed Bill the Kid. Garrett and Bonnie met in the saloon, and for a while they were fellow car players. And Garrett was made sheriff of Lincoln County, and Governor Wallace put a $500 body on the kid's head. The newly minted lawman began a relentless pursuit. Despite numerous traps, Billy was able to escape the tightening news. He could not run forever, though. On July the 14th, 1881, in Fort Summer, Billy most likely unarmed entered the room where Pat Garrett was lying in wait, sitting in the darkness. Billy asked the question, keen ace, who was there? And Garrett answered with two shots from his revolver. One hit Billy in the heart, killing him on the spot. He was buried in the Fort Summer Cemetery between the graves of two friends, Tom Foliard and Charlie Bouldery. Many people later accused Garrett of killing the kid in a dishonorable manner. In the book, he co-authored The Authentic Life of Billy Kid, in which Billy was portrayed as a degenerate murderer, did nothing to lift the disrepu disreputable cloud. That image of the kid, however, became part of his legend and remains so to this day. So yeah. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. Yeah, most likely. It's Pat Gary. Drop, and and ham handed. So, let's get this moving. Hello, Pat. I'm sad. You challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. We have to keep focusing on your enemy in focus. Keep your enemy in focus using a mouse. Press space to continue, of course. Okay, I got you in my sights, Biggie. Come on. Come on, draw. Draw, mister. Nice knife, by the way. 
When your opponent reaches for the gun, press the left mouse button to draw your weapon, aim with the mouse, and then shoot with the left mouse button, of course. And that you killed her in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that penny dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. Of course, I didn't kill him. So let me start again. Kill. I finally reached so those damn stables. True story, and this time for real. Still waiting for some chicken. Hee haw! I'm gonna check something. Be right back. So, yeah, let's just get running into it. Stepped inside, and bam! Uh, last again. thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on, how did it end? And, boy, that was just the beginning. Eh. Next time I'm gonna do this all. Can I make some skills? Still not in. Okay. Level four. Okay, let's get moving to the next one. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah. After I came to, bastard had clocked me with his colt. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. After Stink and Springs built the kid in South Bruce end up in jail. They remained there until the spring. A fistful of hot lead. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. Lincoln Jail, April 28th, 1881, four months after the arrest. He was the John the Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, Fuck. it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. <laughs> what the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. Nuts. My first order of business was finding a firearm. Well, thank you, Billy. Bill the Kid, William Henry McCarty, also known, also known as William H. Bonney, Kid Antrim, or Billy the Kid, was probably born between 1859 and 1861. He died on July 14, 1881, shot by the sheriff, Pat Garrett, in Four Summer, Sumner. And I'm to this day, he remains one of the Wild West's most recognizable outlaws. Outlaws. Billy stood approximately 5 foot 8 tall and was of slender build, with blue eyes, blonde hair, and a boyish charm. Many reliable sources can vouch for a sense of humor, generosity, and friendly nature. He was shrewd, relentless, and reckless, and often put his own life in danger for those he cared about. He loved to sing and dance and could read and write. His handwriting was said to be extremely neat. Billy was very popular with ladies, although he never played favorites. Not one soul who knew him personally ever said he had an explosive temper or propensity to kill at, slight, at the slightest provocation. The kid owes that image to his killer, Pat Garrett, who wrote a book embellishing his exploits two years after Billy's death. Hollywood then bur burnished that myth to a high shine. Contrary to popular belief, Billy was not a stone-cold killer or even much of a criminal. He never lived an, out on an outlaw life of robbing banks, stagecoaches or trains. Petty wrestling and horse thievery were the worst, were the worst of his transgressions. 
Billy was credited with killing 21 people, but that number was inflated considerably. He definitely killed four men, two in self-defense, two during a jailbreak, and he participated in shootouts during the Lincoln County War, which left another five people dead. But then again, he might or might not have been killed by the bullets of Bill the Kid. So, now we know that Billy wasn't that much of a bad egg. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean-ass shotgun. Ten gold foot name, Gage. Loud as thunder. Can't cut the man clean in half. Nice. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody see Billy? No, I did. And there uh, went. The kids escaped, raised a huge ruckus. What? You're still a... Ah, uh, fuck me sideways. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, why? Hell yeah. That scattered gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. Oh, it could blow my clear off the street. I hardly had to aim today. Guards were everywhere looking for him. Can't let the kid get away. Can't let the kid get away. I'm gonna let you show you something, buddy. Oh my God. Anybody see him? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, that was a bad jump. A shift took a sprint, there can be a time or life zone depending on the situation. Yeah, of course! God damn it, I fucked it up. Hello? I had to jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could, but. <sighs> Some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in on Thanks for Billy! I was a fugitive. Yep. How do you know that that Garrett's gonna kick your ass and not I'm gonna shoot your fucking fucking head. Dude, I'm getting out of ammo fast. I'm gonna show you a son bitch. Seriously, die. Oh yeah? Yeah, piss kicking. Dong sniffing cowboy. Uh, how the fuck do I get out down there? Seriously. Are they up? Ah, okay, that way. You went that way. Please. That thing is a. Not even a fucking headshot. All in the name. Everything. Good. And early. Was that a headshot? Oh the fuck. Come on, what is this? How the fuck are those hatchets? Seriously, what the hell? Reloading! Come on, buddy. Get in my side. And that's the last shot I had for this. Actually not, thank goodness. Come on, reload. You need some help? And you need a doctor. 
shit that went right down. Headshot over this distance. Are you even dick? Listening to yourself. Fast arrival reload. That's actually nice. Thank you. Nope, ain't gonna get it. this way. Violence is not the answer. But it's an option. Really? It's an option. So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever gonna find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. Yeah, that's a good idea. I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. This town doesn't have a moment's face. Seriously? But oh, hell, they weren't all waiting for me. One of the most spectacular, the Lincoln Escape, one of the most spectacular jailbreaks in the history of the Wild West took place on April 28, 1881. Four, four months after his apprehension at Stinkin Springs, Bill the Kid was sentenced to death by hanging. His execution was to take place exactly one month later on May the 13th. Until then, McCarty was to be held in Lincoln on the second floor of the city courthouse. Billy was guarded by two of Pat Garrett's deputies, Jim Bell and Bob Olinger. The specific details of the event that took place on April 28th are sketchy, but it's suspected that friend of a friend of Billy's left a revolver hidden in the privy. Another version of the tale has McCarty taking a gun from Bell by force during a struggle on the stairs. Well, they'll probably never know the truth. One thing is certain, Billy shot Jim Bell and he was dead before he finished falling down the stairs. The other guard, Olinger, Heard the shots and ran toward the courthouse. Billy was armed with the Ollinger's 10 gauge double barrel shotgun and was waiting by the window for its owner. When Ollinger appeared, he heard Hello Bob seconds before the kid shot him with his own weapon. It took Billy an hour to remove his leg irons using a pickaxe. Then he mounted the horse and rode away at a leisurely pace, singing happily if the stories are to be believed. Typical Apparently, Billy. some of them thought I was Billy. You go to hell. Come on, big guy. Oh, shoot, you motherfucking idiot. I thought I saw something called the red upstairs. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on. Stop damage just die. Uh, that was... Well... That was god damn... Fuck. So... Look around... Anything else to get? No, I came from the side? Nope. Oh, I did. Blacksmith, horseshoe, and horseshoeing and carrying. God damn it! Leave him to me. He's in town somewhere. See, me and the kid shared a certain similarity in build and color. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass shotgun. I don't need a shotgun for this, but well, if you say shotgun, then we can use the shotgun and the children here. Okay, okay. So much lead was whizzing by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. And fast body. Oh, I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. 
smelly, why? sweaty, ungrateful beast. Now that's why we, we must like too high, if you ask me. Most likely that's why we ain't gonna Can't hear you too. Are you dead now? Ah, oh, and I'm the secret. Nice. So, horse then. Before the automobile, the horse was the primary means of transport in the old west. Having one of me meant the difference between life and death for settlers living in the mountains or the endless prairies of the western United States. Without a horse, there was no way to work the land or herd cattle or get to the mine or fetch town doctor in time to save whoever had fallen ill or been injured. In fact, without a horse, it was mighty hard to survive. So, no wonder that the horse thieves were treated as the scum of the earth and were usually lynched without a trial. A gallows was a common sight in the Wild West, and many men met their demise at the end of a rope because they stole an animal that didn't belong to them. What the fuck is that? I guess we go. Climb the ladder up and up. Went to everything. But well, where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. I actually prefer the rifle. Yep. Could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. Got you. Got you. Yeah, no. I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. No. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. Or rather, Billy. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean-ass shotgun. Get the women off the street! On yourself! I'll flank it! Good flanking. Not so good flanking, Barry. Hell of damnation. You can even destroy the things where you step behind. God damn it. You won't get away with this! You can even see the flimmering of the the bam Oh fuck you, I'm gonna shake your hand. What can't I hit this shit at? Finally, I found what I was looking for. The stables on the edge of town. I guess Billy saved your ass, taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Mm -hmm. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. Wait, so we well, stood uh, there in the middle of the street, eyeball to eyeball. Holy shit, dude. He intended to kill me, problems. and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. Just your hand position using A and D for fast draw. Seriously? He 
keep two things in mind now. Sucker. When you hear the heartbeat, you can draw your gun first, but this will be noted as a dishonorable act and scored accordingly. <laughs> Fucking hell, they didn't shot enough. You were focused in 86, your hand speed was similar and your reaction was 0 0.388. Okay. Okay, Bob, please, just you fat ass. Come on, big guy, just let me go. I killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. God well, damn it, right in the throat. Lincoln got a might depopulated that day. Killed that him all. Garrett gunned down Billy three months later. So his escape was all for naught anyway. Still get something to do here. Grill great and keep breeze by smashing. Handle your bullets with care, smash it. Are like local during this real sequence to insert rounds faster. Top break reload mechanism, don't use the skill. Why not? I'll be right back. I have to do something first. Hell did he get away? Oh, so guys, there was something I really forgot. To be honest, to look at the buildings. And here we go. The West Lawman. The Wild West was often a lawless place, but with the influx of former ranches, mine, store, keeps, and the civilization that came along with them, more and more appeals for law and order could be heard. There was a need for lawmen, and so sheriffs were elected, D deputy U.S. marshals were appointed, and Texas rangers were hired to keep the peace. There were many heroic figures in the ranks of law enforcement. Some of the best known were ba Wild Bill Hickok, Pat Garrett, White Earp, Sal Bullock, and Bat Masterson. But none of them were such spotless reputations. Many of them were both sides of the law, going from an outlaw to lawman and from sheriff back to bandit like Henry Plummer, secretly commanding the hundred-man gang known as the Innocents. Then there was the brutal Bob Ollinger and the corrupt, corrupt Johnny Bahan, who supported the nefarious outlaw gang known as the Cowboys. The Dalton brothers famously abandoned, abandoned their teen stars to pursue more lucrative careers as bank robbers. And that proved to be a poor idea as most of those brothers ended up dead in the dusty main street of Coffeyville, Kansas after they made the poor decision to rob, rob ba two banks at the same time. Well, to be honest, there is a little detail. You get you shot the, those things and they, there goes more out from it. That's actually quite a cool. So, anyway, everybody, thank you for being here on this wonderful path of gaming with me, Red Boltscope, and do me a little favor, well, a few. First of all, stay healthy or get healthy, okay? Keep your head up. Don't get in the first, get it up. Another point, please do me a little favor, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And the biggest favor of all. Please put your right hands up, right hands up, pump them down, and keep on ripping. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Goodbye, and see you next time.